Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Prolock ELK-111-KA Chrome Hasp Lock, 2.5 inch by 2 and 3 quarter inch. These are all key to like, that's the KA part of the part number. I'm going to remove it from the package and we will continue this video. Okay, we have this item removed. Show it to you in parts. Here is the hasp portion. Okay. This is what will it will look like when it's in the closed position. This is the leaf that will attach to the face of the jam or whatever it is that you're attaching it to. A couple of holes countersunk here. Screws are provided. You're going to need a total of six screws. Two for here. Let it latch over like this. Then the business end of this unit, the keyed uh, thumb turn, four holes obviously. You're going to get two keys with this naturally. And it is the action of the key that locks and unlock that locks and unlocks this. You can remove the key in either a locked or unlocked status. That's obviously locked when it's perpendicular. Okay. And of course it has a relock feature which is handy. So you've unlocked it, time to lock it up. You hear the click, it's now locked. So your installation looks like this. And it's all said and done. And that's how it gets secured. Chrome finish. Okay. Uh, let's go over the dimensional properties of this item. First of all, the hasp. It has an overall about two and three quarter. You can kind of judge where that leaf falls in. Okay. Height about an inch and five eighths. The locking portion, inch and nine sixteenths square. Projection, just since we're measuring, about an inch and three sixteenths. Okay. Again, two keys. If you buy ten of them, they're all going to be key to light. So keep that in mind. Whatever quantity you buy, uh, they're all going to be. Uh, this can be used on either left hand or right hand doors by simply just reversing everything. Obviously, the rotation of lock and unlock would change, but regardless. Okay. Chrome plated steel. There is on the back of the pa packaging the installation instructions, which we will go over now. Place the screw, place and screw the lock body to the edge of the door, door jam, or box as shown. So what they're saying is the lock body is to be flushed off to the edge of the edge of the door or whatever you're securing it to. Pl uh, step two, place and screw the, uh, the edge of the hinge plate on the door or lid as shown. Make sure that the parts do not rub against each other when opening and closing the door lid. Here's the bottom line. You're going to do a reality check. You're going to place this depending on what your application is. Uh, okay, and that's just how you're going to install it. They want this flushed off. This would be that leaf would be flushed off to the edge of the jam as well, allowing that small amount of margin, which is typically about an eighth of an inch. And, and you can see here that that's the case, right between those plates. And that's the margin between the door and the jam. And that's how your installation will go. Prolock is a comprehensive manufacturer a provider of security items, uh, window locks, door locks like this, uh, sliding door locks as well. And then, of course, a comprehensive offering of uh, latch protectors and uh, door reinforcing or wraparound plates. If you have any questions on the Prolock ELK-111-KA Chrome Hasp Lock or any other Prolock product, please feel free to reach out to us.